The Secret Life of Pets Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing The Secret Life of Pets and I thought I would introduce you guys to my pets because of the video. This is Licorice. Look at the camera girly so that they can see your eyes. <laughs> She's all black so she doesn't really show up on camera. So that's my kitten. This is my guinea pig. She's once again all black so you can't really see her face. And this is Yoke. She's a parakeet. She is my helper. She's in all my videos that I do my face. So if you haven't seen any of those, you will notice that she's in there. So yeah, those are all my, well, those are three of my pets. I've got a turtle and some fish as well. But these are my furred and feathered pets. I hope you like the design as well. It's a lot of fun for the secret life of pets. And share in the comment section what you think your pets do while you're away. I'm pretty sure mine sleep, but you never know. And don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. Begin by painting all of your nails a light teal blue color. On my index nail, I'm going to be painting Max, so I'm going to start with white paint, and I'm going to be painting pretty much the shape of his face. I'm not going to do his ears right now, but just like his neck a little bit, his forehead, and his snout area. So now I'm going to be adding the brown of, for the patch of his eye, so that goes around the one side, and it depends on what kind of picture you're looking at, what side, or if there's a lot of patch or a little bit of patch, depending on how his face is angled. But that's how it looks in the picture I'm looking at at the moment. And then I'm going to add his ears with brown as well. And his ears kind of stick up away from his head a little bit. And now I'm going to be using some white paint and I'm going to highlight my brown. The other thing you could do is you could use some um, a lighter shade or a tan color. And that would also work. You just want to make sure that your brown paint is still wet while you're highlighting it so it blends in nice and smooth looking. And then I'm going to add another layer of white paint over the rest of him. And then taking a light shade of gray, I'm just going to start blending in some gray in areas where I want shadows. So underneath his chin and like pretty much around his chin and the back of his head. And really define some of those areas just a little bit with that simple subtle shading. And I'm going to be painting a large oval for his nose. And this is starting out with black and then I'm going to fill it in with gray. And that there is just going to add a lot of shading on its own. Just those two colors. So there's the gray. And doing that. Like I said, it adds so much detail, and then I'm also going to blend in some lighter gray just to really bring his nose out and give it some dimension, and touch up the shape with a little bit more white paint. And I'm going to add his eyes with white, and I'm even I'm going to paint a white eye over the white section just because it'll thicken it up a little bit and make it easier for when you're outlining it, which is what I'm doing right now. So then I'm going to go through and I'm going to outline his eyes. And this is with a charcoal or a really dark gray. Add the brown in his eye, a circle in each one. And then with brown, I'm also going to add his eyebrows. And then with black, I'm going to add his pupils. And then I'm going to do a little bit of outlining. So I'm going to outline um, just the underside of his eyebrows just to make them show up a little bit better. And then just selectively outlining certain areas like the top of his collar, which I did not do before, which is what that line is. Add some pink in his ears, black nostrils, and then go along for his collar with blue. And add just a small highlight. So then on my middle nail, I'm going to be painting Duke. So I'm going to start with the shape of Duke's face. And this time I'm using brown. And his head kind of comes up to almost a point at the very, very top. And so just bring that down, almost like a teardrop. I'm going to add a second layer of brown paint over that after it's dry, just to make sure that it's nice and opaque. And now I'm going to be highlighting it and low lighting it. So I'm going to take some black paint on my brush, just a teeny tiny amount, and start darkening, darkening areas. So first I'm going to go around where his eye sockets are and then around the sides of his face. It's almost like where his ears are. And I'm also going to darken up the area that his mouth is. Just by blending black paint into that wet brown. And then with white, I'm going to start adding some highlights. So I'm going to highlight down his nose and his chin and a little bit around his eyes. And also when you're doing this, use the motions of his hair growth with your paintbrush so that it looks like he's furry and don't blend it in super smooth you want to leave it a little textured looking so it looks like he's furry and now i'll be filling in his eyes with white adding a little bit of white for his teeth so i'm going to add all of his teeth with white and so you want to make sure you give him that the levels of teeth so you want to make sure that they're shorter in the front and then um his his canine teeth get a little longer and so on and I'm going to be adding an oval for his nose the same way we did on Max 
and then I'm going to add just a couple little lines for hair with brown so I'm gonna go around his mouth just a little bit with that and then up around his whole entire head so just little lines coming off that original mane shape that we made just to make him look furry and fluffy and then I'm gonna fill in under his teeth with black paint and add just a couple little outlines mainly to define between the front of his face and behind him a little bit and then um, highlight his nose which is a couple little polka dots of white and now I'm going to be giving him a pink tongue and highlight his pink tongue with white on my ring nail with medium gray I'm going to be painting Chloe and so I'm going to start with her main shape and so I'm because her face is smaller I'm going to be doing more of her and because she is a cat so she's a little smaller so I'm going to be painting kind of some of her chest and back as well as her face. So then I'm going to start highlighting it and I'm going to highlight down the one side. This is the area, the side that her face is on. So this is going to be her face and chest area. We're highlighting with a lighter shade of gray and blending that in nice and smooth. And then I'm going to add just a tiny amount of a darker shade of gray on the other side. And if your gray happens to have a bit of a blue tone, that works fine because she's kind of like a, a dove gray or a slightly blue gray. And now I'm going to be taking black paint and I'm going to be painting her eyes and her eyes are half circles so they have a straight line on top and then a nice rounded curve at the bottom. And I'm going to add her pink nose and a little bit of pink for her lips. And then outline the bottoms of those with black. Highlight up her nose a little bit more just so that really looks nice and dimensional. And I'm going to be using that same original color gray we used. I'm going to paint her ears. And then highlight her ears, fill them in with pink, and fill in her eyes with um, some white, and add some white just to highlight her little kitten cheeks, and then create whiskers coming off her cheeks. And then you're going to want to add some green in her eyes. So this is like a grass green or a medium green and then a black dot and then selectively outline like you've been doing before so just highlight the parts that really need to show up so around her ears especially is the area that i thought needed it the most and add her eyebrows on my pinky nail i'm going to be painting gidget so i'm going to start with a nice circle for her head and then create her body beneath it and her head is bigger than her body so make sure it kind of almost has a gumball machine appearance so that nice round top and then it kind of just sort of goes out at the bottom a little bit add her ears on top of the circle and then fill that in so the white is nice and opaque and now I'm going to be high I mean shadowing not highlighting shadowing with some light gray paint so just blend that in so it's not that bright snow white it's just a little bit darker than that and I'm going to add some pink in her ears and then I'm also going to be giving her a little tiny bow on top of her head and then switching to black paint, I'm going to start painting her facial features. So we're going to do her eyes and her first eye, because her face is a little bit turned off to the side. Her first eye is a circle right about in the center of her head. And then the other one goes off to the side. From that point, we're going to add her little nose and her smile. Outline her bow just a little bit. I'm going to fill in her eyes with white. This is also a good time to touch up any of those outlines of her face that might not have been perfect before. You can fix them now. Add some blue in her eyes. And a white, or I mean a black polka dot. And then I'm going to add her pink tongue. On my thumbnail, I'm going to be painting the Life of Pets, or the Secret Life of Pets, I guess, logo. So I'm going to start with a red rectangle that's at the top of my nail. So this goes just along the side, covering about two-thirds of your nail. Depending on how wide your nail bed is, this might make a difference. You might want to do it a little differently, however it works out for you. And then after you have that rectangle in place, we're going to be painting pets beneath it. So I'm going to write the T pretty much right where the end of your rectangle is. And then I'm going to carry that down all the way to the tip of my nail. If you have very long nails, you won't want to take this all the way down to the tip. You will want to create an area that you're going to stop it at and then stop it there. My nail currently is a little bit shorter than normal, so I'm going to just take it all the way down. And then after the T, I'm going to be painting the S. And all of these letters are very square looking. They're very um, cubular. It's kind of, to me, it looks like a skyline. And so it has that top 
that's nice and squared off so that it has the appearance of the different heights of buildings in a skyline. And then before the T, you're going to paint the E. And on the other edge of your nail, you're going to want to paint the P. I'm going to fill in the hole in my E with yellow. And then I'm going to just do a partial outline of all of my letters. So I'm going to first outline my red rectangle. And I'm doing this with a very, very dark charcoal blue. And I'm just going to outline one edge of my letters. So I'm going to outline the left side and underneath. So any line that's on top I'm going to leave. It's just those two sides that I'm going to worry about outlining. This is going to make it look like it's got a shadow on it and it's going to make it look dimensional like it's popping off the nail. And then I'm going to add two lines coming up from the letter E and P up to the red rectangle that I forgot to add before, so I'm just doing that now. And then with more of that teal, excuse me, teal color, I'm going to be filling in the little dog silhouette in the E. So then on the red rectangle, we're going to be writing the secret life of pets. So in the lower half, we're going to write life of. So I'm going to start with the L, then write I-F-E. And the life is bigger than of, so if you don't have as much room as you think you need to write of, it's okay, just shrink it down. And I know that this writing is extremely difficult, and if just because it's so small, and if you can't do it so small, don't sweat it. You can just write um, life or just do part of it, or just leave this triangle red, I mean rectangle red, and everyone will understand. I mean, it's, it's tiny. It's kind of a headache to paint so small. But if you can do it, definitely go for it, because it looks pretty awesome once you have it done. And so then I'm going to add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!